hello this is stripe welcome back to the part two of this house tour please if you have not watched the part one just pause this video here and go back and watch the part one because this part two comprises of basically everything we have upstairs okay so if you are interested in this type of video just go ahead to hit on the like button and subscribe now let's get right into the video before we go upstairs we added these wall moldings to most of our walls in fact guys even in the bedroom we're going to see it in the bedroom adding these moldings have added a lot of depth to our space and these frames are from the sino i just wanted something very simple and so far not gotten bored praise god so we are still contemplating if we're actually going to put the runner because in as much as runners look very nice our worry is runners are like rugs and it means we're going to be hoovering the rugs every now and then. So we're still trying to just enjoy these. <laughs> we're trying to enjoy the painted stairs as it is for now because it's very easy to maintain. And all we need to do is just use wet rag and wipe and that's all. So let's just take the as it comes. There's no hurry at all. No hurry to stress. <laughs> Upstairs. This is the first thing you see this molded space with the frame and the picture light. Remember the last house tour, we had a mirror here, but that mirror was just not doing it. It was a round mirror, a black round mirror from William Wood. We eventually sold it and decided to put something rectangular because I wanted you know that height, and this height kind of mimics high ceiling, even we don't have high ceiling, but it just makes this whole whole space look elevated. So that was the reason why we swapped from that round mirror to this. And this has been selling since. And because the print in is very, very simple and minimal, that's why I've not gotten bored of it. So I've got this console from um, Picture Perfect Home, quite affordable when we're looking at very expensive consoles, but this really came in handy. We opted for this lamp here because this is always very handy at night um we prefer to have this on than the main light we got this lamp from a charity shop but what i did was it didn't come as gold so i just had to you know add gold accent to this part and then this frame we got it from real code just to um i think at the end of the day we ended up creating a lamp okay so sometimes if you're short of money and you don't maybe your budget is really tight and you want to get a nice lamp just go into charity shops and get the stand you don't need to get the the, the what do you call this the shade you don't need to get the shade most times you just tell them you don't want the shade because the shade might just not be what you want so just take the the stand and then go do some finishing touches to it and then buy the shade from any other shop like this one we got this one from yoko this bowl was from the range it was silver i wanted it in gold so i resprayed this is my hand there eh? As so far as in spraying, guys. And this little vase here is also from the range. I just love how it looks here. You just feel we just need to keep it simple and add one or two texture to this house store. I can't really say which light was there, but we decided to go with this light because we we noticed that the previous one that was here when we were coming up, somebody's head always touch it. Okay, but we decided to do something close to a flush light, and this was the best we could get. But guys, I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. I've forgotten where this is from. But if I still remember while I'm editing, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. So this light came very minimal and very simple and very gorgeous. We just saw it as something that was gonna fit this space, in as much as some people would want to go for something very pronounced, but we looked at the functionality and we're like, no, if we, if we get something as big as what we have downstairs um climbing up is gonna be a problem so when we have kids around you climb up you're carrying kyra you climb and then your head is hitting it and all that one day it might break a radiator here so we decided to get a radiator cover to just blend this whole space we have this molding that is housing this beautiful gold mirror i was looking for a very affordable mirror honestly where i sat the website there. so i can't remember where i got this mirror from but it's just from a random site and it's been beautiful it's just as very the basic minimum basic kind of radiator cover that you can think of so we have in here maybe in future i can i might change it to black i'm tempted to change my radiator covers to black but let's not go there it completed the boys room but i think because i am not someone that i'm not so comfortable with colors and i just felt like we needed to bring down the colors a bit we decided to just do away with a lot of things but the boys are still not ready so we're taking it bit by bit 
Oh, we have done away with the lights that was here. Let's come, come in. Let me show you guys. We have done yeah. away with the the little chandelier that was here. We sold that, and we're trying to get rid of some of these things. Though they still want their beds, we are looking at getting a chest drawer that's going to hide, and then use a cable to hide use a cable to hide some of this and then get an extension because the problem is where the socket is and they need this tv because of their the games they play okay so they usually stay here to play their game so the plan is to get something to extend the socket to this place and then hide the wires and use a chest drawer to hide the rest of whatever needs to be hidden this is mona's wardrobe and this is andre's wardrobe okay and then we have this table here for them to read i'm thinking of changing this table or trying to or i might customize it to suit this whatever design we're making in this room later on but this chair is like um, a lumbar chair we got it from ebay and uh, i feel like it's big because it's kind of restricting movement here but who knows we might decide to get something smaller we cannot have a curtain here guys because it's a very funny corner so we decided to just use the blind they're basically gonna have only the blinds Guys, this is where I'm having a problem. You see this wallpaper? I am tired of it. I want it gone like yesterday. But I don't know what these boys have seen in this wallpaper. So I'm just allowing them to enjoy it. Let it be in record that they enjoy their blue wallpaper for like a year. <laughs> for like a year. <laughs> but everybody keeps saying it's nice, it's lovely. I don't see it. This best side is also from where we got their beds. The same place we got... The dining and the sofa and the mirror okay and then this lamp is from the range this shelf is great just hobby needs to find time to take it down okay so that we can redecorate their room so definitely their room is going to undergo um a transformation <laughs> yes it's definitely going to undergo a transformation because this is one room i'm not satisfied with one bit and then here they have their own toilet let me show you guys this is their toilet the shower this is their toilet we have this mirror in all the toilet and bathroom is done by mirror glass processing and yeah we also have this towel radiator chrome chrome radiator what do you call it so this chrome radiator we actually upgraded with our developers it was supposed to be the normal radiator but we had to pay them to get the chrome radiator in here okay we are still gonna have a bit of makeover in all the toilets like i said because we're not comfortable with the flooring and um somehow we feel like we need to add in a little bit of decor into all the bedrooms and toilets so for now this is what we have here when you leave your room the next room is the guest bedroom if you are following me on instagram you will know that work is actually going on in this room I have drawn the plan for this room. I have listed out all the items we need to decorate this room. I'm just waiting for money. So please go ahead to hit this, hit the like button so that Instagram can pop this video to more people to watch. And also appreciate me through my super time. This guys. is what I did recently. I molded and I'm not going to tell you guys the plan for this room so that you can watch the makeover when it's ready. So this is what is here for now. We just have a double bed. With Kyra's toys on it, <laughs> with Kyra's toys and her tablet, and um, yeah, that's basically it. With that blind, I kind of use um, another shade of white to paint the whole room, and there is a wardrobe here for guests. Okay, when you come into the guest room, yep, and that's the wardrobe. So when you move from the guest room, the next door is going to be. The main bathroom okay this is the main bathroom guys but so far Kara is the one using it and then we usually don't have guests so I just feel like keeping the bathroom for guests is like just keeping it fallow so for now Kara is the one using it for us maintaining it for us and she needs her bathroom anyway so why not so we have this floor here which we are we're not comfortable with at all this thing looks like plastic or we like i said we're definitely gonna tile this whole bedroom and upgrade the bathroom to the way it should be but we have a mirror here a wall-to-wall -wall mirror and that's a chrome radiator here which was upgraded Where are you? Where? so moving over to this place you're gonna see the princess room so this is a princess room 
um we just recently had a room makeover the step by step on how we transformed this room we had to change a few things and upgraded a few things to suit kairos needs um this room is like a new room and i still have the makeover on my channel so check it out i'm gonna link it in my description box or when you come in the first thing you're gonna be seeing is this bed this bed has been here for like more than a year and you guys must have seen it in her previous room tour. We moved from using a table lamp to wall lights and these wall lights are from Amazon. They're rechargeable. Um, I kind of describe how it's used in that makeover video. So check out that makeover video. Uh, her main bedroom light is from Dunem. The cotton is from Dunem and B&M. So we got the white voils from B&M and then the plain white one is from Dunem. And then the rods are also from Dunem. And the tie bags are from B&M. And um, the bedding, I'm going to link it as well. This bedding is from Amazon. Her play corner. You know, we discarded the one that was on the floor and pulled up this wall bookshelf, which is very, very functional. And then she has a little dressing corner. And then we have some frames and yeah you can already see that i changed a lot of the decor wall decor to molding so we that was a major change in this room you see those two square boxes there are from charity shop and yeah they are housing her little treasures these are kara's little treasures she doesn't joke with her piggy bank anyways <laughs> and then these her doll house is from asda kara has a lot of kara has a lot of you know <laughs> bits and bobs so we just use it to house a lot of her bits and bobs okay and that little plant is from tk max the plant pot is from her dressing table i actually changed it to gold knob we have an inbuilt wardrobe here which um the house is a lot of kairos clothes and shoes and everything now it's closer to 11 and i ain't hearing nothing i just need to know that you're okay here that houses the heating system this is where we have the heating system so that's basically what we have in bits and box and then this is the master's bedroom welcome to my abode come in this is the master's bedroom i have a bedroom makeover as well you guys i have makeovers on every part of my house on this channel so if, if you want to see any part of my house just check 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 you're gonna see okay so this is the master's bedroom and we decided to make it very simple simple as simple as a b c because we want it to be that way you know when you finish hustling in the day and you want to come back and just relax don't think of any other thing if you're coming from that entrance you're gonna have this little um this big frame here box thing there in the molding and then you're gonna have this wardrobe guys this wardrobe was made by the by the developers and um initially we didn't like the color but we had to make the color work for us okay that kind of inspired the design in this room and motivated us to choose a very plain white bed, which we're loving, you know, as much as it's difficult to maintain. We had panelings on the wall, and also we got that table lamp from um, Picture Perfect, I guess. And then the bedside is from Homery. It's, a, I think it's an American website or so. The beddings are from Dusk. You guys, I'm obsessed with Dusk beddings. And then this light is from amazon i'm also gonna link this light for you guys cotton is from blinds to go this is a this is a wave cotton it came with the tracks as well in this corner we have a little dressing corner my little dressing corner this corner is my precious corner because i'm, uh, I'm not even joking like you know where you own something just one thing in the house this is it this is the ikea mom but i kind of customized it and added my own handles because i mean why not <laughs> and then that chair is from um cult furniture that lamp is also from a charity shop that i kind of customized to suit our need okay then the mirror is from amazon guys so these other space here we are still figuring out what to do we wanted the tv initially but at some point we're like do we really need a tv 
i don't know so yeah let's just see what happens so that space is still vacant for now for me it's better it is simple than being very ambiguous but i might actually get a plant in here very soon take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me babe because you're all that i crave so i wonder we have done in all our toilets our toilets are just the way they were when we moved in especially the floorings we really really plan to change the floorings we just got a little bit of storage down here to you know enable us hiding some things that are not supposed to be displayed i told you guys we have this mirror in all our bathrooms so yeah we have a mirror down here i just created this little corner here just to give me joy for now I feel like this will serve for now. Reservations, too many invitations. This is the end of the tour. Basically, this is a four bedroom house with two ensuite and two other toilets and bathrooms. So, um, in general, we have four toilets and bathrooms, okay? We have a connecting door to the garage and we have a sizable garden, I would say. That is update and we hope to come up with more makeovers as we progress. I really, really have a dream for all our bathrooms, especially from the flooring to the walls and all that. So hopefully those are gonna be like future makeovers. The main living room too. Hopefully we should be able to come up with that this year, but if not this year, then next year. That is gonna be another capital project. Um, If there's any other thing you wanna see, if there's any other question you have, just drop it in the comment section and be rest assured that I'll try to link up almost everything i can so that if you want you can shop my home please go ahead to appreciate this video by hitting the like button and also if you want to appreciate me further just use a super thanks and i will really really appreciate that because we put in a lot of work on this channel guys but thank you so much for everything and um my instagram families i really appreciate you guys because you guys are the ones that really really motivate me a lot even this video i this update i decided to do you guys were the ones that pushed me to do it i think i got lots and lots of requests on this so i'm happy that i've gotten this out of the way please follow me on my instagram handle same at home with didi on tiktok same at home with didi and let's connect because over there in my instagram i share lots of home hacks how i keep my home organized and clean and family vlogs as well so just follow me on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram you are missing you're on a long thing i'm telling you you are on a long turn <laughs> please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if this is your first time on this channel and i will see you guys in my next video stay fabulous bye